Alrighty then, here we are, successful indie author, five minute focus, episode 397, elevator speech. These are important little, well, there's Stanley. These are important little snippets that you deliver to a receptive audience. <clears throat> They're called elevator speeches because as you go between floors, you may only have five seconds, 10 seconds, maybe 20 seconds of somebody's time and a captive audience. Hey, what do you do? I write books. And what kind of books? Be ready. I write science fiction books with a justice theme. Okay, there we go. I have some 125 published. Ooh, hey, extra hook, depending on the time you have. <clears throat> I've sold hundreds of thousands of books. I'm a top 1% Amazon author. Holy cow. See if that's, uh, it depends who's the target audience. Uh, <clears throat> romance sub themes. Ah, okay. Depending on, once again, who you're talking to. Have these little snippets, almost like, uh, fortune cookie one liners that you can, uh, cut and paste depending on who your target audience is. I was at the Alaska Comic Con last weekend and got a, a chance to talk with Cal Mitchell. Of, uh, uh, I mean, he's, uh, he's a famous actor. And he asked, what, what do you do? Write science fiction novels. Oh, okay, that's cool. And that was it. He wasn't, he wasn't interested. That's not his thing, not his genre. <clears throat> so I didn't press it. Hey, man, thanks for, thanks for coming up here. Thanks for, uh, uh, tolerating our weather. Although he said he was from Chicago. So, uh, yeah, that weather is worse than what we have up here in Fairbanks, Alaska. So how do you make sure? You get your elevator speech refined. You practice. And you don't just practice from a mirror. You practice with people because that's where it changes. Because all of a sudden you'll get tongue-tied, you'll get brain-twisted, and you won't be able to get those words out. If you have one series, if you only have one book, easy enough, the book. But for heaven's sake, don't make it a synopsis. Don't tell them, oh, and in the end, hey, he kills the king and they take over and everybody's happy. No. You want to leave them with, you want to read this book because you don't know how it's going to turn out. So tagline, and this is on every every uh, anthology I put together on most blurbs that I recommend for people. It's that, that tagline for my uh, Space Lawyer series. It's as simple as that. My Space Lawyer series. You never would have thought that a Space Lawyer would be exciting, but it sells well, like really well. So what are the what are the tags? <clears throat> Judge Dredd meets Boston Legal in space. Okay, I don't like those, but for if you have five seconds, that's the absolute easiest way to resonate with somebody. Judge Dredd meets Boston Legal. Okay, that's kind of cool. In space. Okay, uh, and that has drawn in a lot of people. That has gotten good eyeballs. That has uh, uh, picked p i q u e d picked people's interest and uh, gotten them into taking a look. That's all you want. Just get them to take a look and then hope that that cover and that blurb then for each book sells the book or the cover and the blurb for the series sells the series. So don't give away uh, the ending with a synopsis, but set the hook. All you're doing is setting the hook with your elevator speech. Have, a, have an elevator speech for you and your brand. Have an elevator speech for your best series because if somebody's going to give you two minutes of their time, and they're only looking at a series. Oh, I like science fiction. Hey, let me tell you about my Space Lawyer series. I mean, that's kind of cheesy, but hey, if they want it, here you go. Judge Red meets Boston Legal in space. Give it a look. It must answer, why should I read your book? Not, hey, I'm interesting, I'm a local author, I'm a, eh, whatever. Why should I read your book? Ah. Do you hate lawyers? So do I. What about one who delivers the justice, who hammers down the punishment? Oh, hey, that'd be kind of cool. All right, here we go. Judge Dredd in space. Meets Boston Legal. Practice. Practice in front of people because that's where, <clears throat> hey, it looks like this. I, I can press buttons and you can be on camera with me. I, I don't know how that works, but there's bring them on camera. I, I, I won't do that to anybody because you might be uh, sitting there in your underwear drinking coffee, eating a pancake, and uh, wouldn't that be embarrassing? I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> Elevator speech. If you have five seconds to 20 seconds of someone's time, 
how do you deliver it without being uh, over overbearing? Hey, I write science fiction. That might be all the time I get. And uh, shake hands, sold hundreds of thousands of copies. So there's plenty of people that say it's it's okay. And that's so sort of that testament. What is uh, what is a person looking for? And that's where you've got to practice with real people, because then read their intent of, of how willing are they to listen. Uh, and then it might not be that at all. I read sci-fi. Well, what do you read? Turn it around. Ask about them. This is the power of an elevator speech, because then you've bought more time. As soon as you ask them, hey, well, what do you read? Oh, I, I love uh, old Heinlein. I love uh, Andre Norton. Oh, that's great. What's your favorite Andre Norton book? Because I love, I love these books. Uh, uh, Zant. Oh, hey, that's Piers Anthony. Oh my God. Uh, you, you know, and have that conversation, and uh, then connect, form that connection, and then it'll be back to you. Well, what, what do you write? Ah, I, I write stuff that's like Andre Norton. Okay, there you go. Set the hook. Reel them in. It takes a lot of practice, especially when you when you have those separate little one liners. And you're waiting to stram together based on the response. That takes a practice and a lot of practice. So don't worry if you don't get it right uh, right off. However, have something ready. At least have that one tagline ready in case you do get five seconds of a potential reader's time. That's all elevator speeches are. Quick and quick and simple. Peace, fellow humans.